the fifth galaxy orchestra is very happy to introduce its new band member. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Stevie Wonder. Welcome to another atmospheric travel day in, on this channel. Today we are leaving Langkawi Island by ferry all the way to Koh Lipe in Thailand. Only 42 km distance away from Langkawi Island, Malaysia, where I am standing right now. Koh Lipe is a tiny paradise island at the southernmost part of Thailand. This is the only island that I have not visited yet during my years living in Thailand. Today, I'm a bit excited because I'm going to show you how to get there, backpacking of course, and how much money I'm going to spend in Koh Lipay in 2023. Some of my subscribers have asked me what's in my one bag travel to go around the world without checking in the luggage. This question will be an added bonus in this video. So, subscribe and join us as we discover another incredible place together. Holy pay. That's a nice cafe here. We're waiting for the ferry and waiting for the immigration to open. Uh, well, I'm early and uh, everybody here is waiting for the Malaysia immigration. We'll start at 9 o'clock in the morning before we can start to board the ferry. So right now, everybody is uh, just chilling. And uh, by the way, there's two ferry services uh, during the high peak season. It's uh, 10 a.m. in the morning and the afternoon 2 p.m. So depending on which one is convenient for you, and you can board the ferry. Yeah, I just cleared the immigration just a moment ago. And my passport will be retained by the boat skipper and will be returned to me once I reach at the immigration in Kolipay. Okay, so I've made it to Kolipe and this is uh, Pattaya Beach right here where I'm standing here and this, this uh, place is one of the busiest town in Kolipe and this is the busiest beach where all the boats will be landing here including speed boats that are coming from Hat Yai Okay, so uh, these are the people they'll be waiting to board the ferry which I came earlier and they are going to Langkawi uh, these are tourists they're going back to Langkawi and that's the uh, entrance fee for every visitors for locals it's uh, 40 baht per person and for foreigners it's uh, 200 baht per person and this is the entrance ticket to Kolipay 
which is part of the Taru Town National Park. Well, in my research, I found there are many well-recommended resorts and beaches to visit as well as leisure activities in this small little island. I always like to give myself little surprises to see how far I can go. The beauty of backpacking is tremendous and is so flexible to allow me to move around the island like a nomad. Backpackers hostels, resorts, budget hotels, well, you name it. So let's check it out. Well, in this resort, the garden view is 4,000 baht per night and the beach view is 6,000 baht per night. I opted for the garden view because I know in an island like this, at night, it would be pretty hard to sleep when the waves and the oceans are beating on the beach. So I'm a light sleeper, I'll take the garden view and let's see how long I'm going to stay here and see if I should extend my stay in Kolipe. This is the room with the double bed, the sofa. This is the bathroom. You have some amenities here with coffee, you know, some drinking water, a basin, toilets, and the shower. The food in Thailand tastes so good and it's very affordable. So for today's lunch, our first day here in Koh Pei is going to be som tam, fried chicken and sweets. The cost of uh, som tam is 150 baht, yummy yummy. Fried chicken, 150 baht and the sweet will cost another 150 baht. We've Thai iced coffee. So it cost me 60 baht. That's lunch. Mm, yummy. It's nice to be back in Thailand again. In Koli Bay, that's one thing I really want to do. It's more like a ritual and I want to do it and you should do it too. Pay a visit to the 7 Eleven. This is where you find all the beers, food, you know, and all the uh, and all the amenities right here in 7 Eleven. Okay, die, die. Just having my Leo beer, it cost me 40 baht. Well, this is a typical hot sunny afternoon in Koh Pei. And if you like sunbathing at the powdery sands of uh, Li Pei, I think that's one of the best time to do it, to get the suntan. Everybody is getting suntan here. So, be free, free up your mind, get the freedom. Yeah, it's a uh, motorcycle taxis that's uh, popular around this island here. I guess this island is good for walking, you don't really need it unless you come with uh, you come to this island with a big luggage, you throw it like this. 
สวัสดีครับผมสวัสดีค่ะนี่ทำอะไรทำอะไรล่ะคะทำมังย่างปลาบิคิวปลาบิคิวเหรอใช่โอเคอร่อยไหมอร่อยมากมากค่ะไม่อร่อยไม่ใช้เงินได้ไหมไม่อร่อยไม่ใช้Okay, <laughs> she say not delicious. Don't have to pay. Yeah. <laughs> no addition, no pay money. Okay. <laughs> See you. Yeah. Uh, this street, this walking street is getting busy. It's when the night falls. So I guess it's time to head to the beach. Get myself some relaxation, enjoy the beach, and later the hunt for food for dinner. Today is going to be Sunset Beach. In an island like Koli Bay, there are plenty of uh, seafood. So tale, ahan tale. So seafood for tonight's dinner. Uh, as well as find the choice here and this restaurant here by the name of uh, Papaya Mum Restaurant. <laughs> the food here at Papaya Mum Seafood is really delicious. You should come here and try it yourself. Okay, for tonight's dinner, the bill came out to be 750 baht in a great seafood restaurant like this. It's pretty full. Okay, it uh, depends on uh, whether you are a big eater or a small eater. If you are a big eater, for 750 baht, very fresh seafood restaurant in Koli Bay, it's definitely worth it. breakfast served in this resort yeah we're gonna get some breakfast we are for the buffet spread today we have uh, chicken satay fusilla pasta 
fried potato, omelette, fried egg, sausage and ham. All these boats are going to Hat Yai. They are not going to Langkawi in Malaysia. And some may be going to Phuket as well. Yeah, there are plenty of uh, good food in Koli Bay. So there's no shortages of delicious, yummy food here. And I found a shop that sells good beers at a very reasonable price, better than the 7-Eleven. Here we are at this place here, at the convenience store. And the little beer here is only 40 baht. Cheaper. Cheaper than 7-Eleven. Here we are. Yeah. Yeah, nice cool Leo. Chang beer, also 40 baht. So I'm gonna take a Leo here. Cheers, guys. Well, it's not been easy to become a content creator. You gotta get yourself chill. I have to get a nice cool beer in order to, to be motivated. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking about getting Kui Ban. Uh, banana shake. Well, apart from banana, in Thailand, mango is also very popular. Uh, banana shake. Okay. okay, I'm at this. Uh, this is a fishing boat. Hello, what up? Travel what agent, you and this is a uh, boy. Cup. Okay, so uh, we are going for a uh, deep sea fishing. Yes. We're going around the island of Kolipe, Kwadang. Kolipe, Kwadang. Yeah, and also to uh, Ko Rawi. Ko right? Rawi, yes. Yeah. Rawi. So we'll be going around yes. uh, fishing. The cost for this private tour. Private tour. Okay, for fishing is uh, 3,500 baht. Okay, for one boat. Hi, hello. 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 <laughs> oh. Okay, so um, I'll show you later on once we get onto the boat. And it's going to be about six, seven hours. It's going to be a very hot day. Hopefully, we can get some real big fish. Okay, right now I'm at the uh, cross junction here. If you have been to Kali Bay before, we should easily recognize this cross junction. There's a 7-Eleven. Okay, and there's a uh, Mam Seafood right here. And this is the entrance, actually the end. The front from the walking street at the beach all the way right to the end here and I'm going to take you to walk from this tip at the end all the way to the entrance at the beach. Okay, on a hot sunny afternoon here with my Leo beer, I'm at this store here by a lovely lady. Yeah, she makes a lot of uh, barbecue kebabs here. This is a Thai kebab. Uh, it's a chicken, Chai Mai. Chai Mai. Anina. Mm. Okay, pork. And Anina. And then sausage. Sausage. For 20 baht each stick is uh, still. <laughs> Madam Yu! Okay, so tonight I'm going to try out Madame Yuhu and let's see what she has to offer. How right? Uh, she okay, no, right. okay, die, die. Okay, my tank, my tank. Ow, ow. I'm in a local pharmacy right now. I'm just getting something that is very useful for those of you who like to go on a long tail boat it's pretty choppy at times and if you're going to be a few hours on the, uh, on the open sea in the Andaman ocean so seasickness pill 
I would recommend that. We're going to do game fishing and I'm waiting for my boatman boy. I think he's around here already. Yeah, I'm gonna get onto the boat. We have done our trip. It's a once in a lifetime adventure trip. We can do it many times if you want to. Okay, come right. on. So, we are happy. Happy. Okay. Happy. Yes. Yeah, sabai, sabai. And hot, hot. <laughs> okay, we have done this trip. Yes. Okay, and uh, okay, so it's time for sunset. Yeah, sunset now. Good time. Right here in Koli Pei, there is one particular place that sells a very delicious pizza that you must come here and it costs 100 baht for a slice of it. So if you are traveling here and you miss pizza, uh, this is your place. Nunu, huh? Oh, very nice pizza. Some water. Swear you got me falling for your ass. 
Here in Kolipe, at the Sunrise Beach, there's no shortages of any accommodation. Look, we got this uh, chalet type ship. No aircon, but with fan. And a lot of taxi boats here you can hire for like 1,800 baht to 2,500 baht for snorkeling trip or to go visit those islands around here. Pretty amazing and pretty affordable that's why i love thailand so much for vacation and for personal reasons to get away from the world all right i found the castaway resort right here beautiful at the sunrise beach Good morning! Hi, may I know how much is the room here for a night? Um, from today? Yeah. So how many nights would you like to stay here? I don't know, maybe I'll try for two nights first. If I like, I extend. Okay, one moment, please. Sure. The price is 3,100 baht. Per night? Per night, yes. Okay, what sort of room is that? Um, it's Garden View Breezy. Garden view breezy, yes. so it's no sea view. Eh? No sea view and no uh, beach front of my ah. yeah. Mind if I take a look? Yes, you just uh, take a look at that will I'll show you. Okay, great. Well, this is a nice uh, garden chalet. It's a double story. Yeah, I heard so much about this resort, but uh, never been here. Who knows? Maybe it's good. I'll stay here. So the bathroom is just right here. Okay, at the ground floor. Yeah, I can put the luggage here. And there's uh, stairs leading up to the bedroom. Okay, the stairs are a bit narrow. Fine. Voila. Okay, you have a mosquito net. The view is just beautiful. Yeah, it's Sunrise Beach is just right out there in front. Okay, all right, good. And we're gonna take it for tonight. Those here are gigantic. <laughs> I really suck blood out of you. <laughs> so that's why here they provide mosquito nets, and that's a, a good thing. Things are not that cheap either in terms of uh, accommodation, like hotels, resorts here. They are more expensive than other islands that I've been to, and also the Ranuat, the massage shop here. For foot massage, it will cost you 350 baht for one hour. Whereas in many parts of Thailand, including Bangkok, you know, prices for one hour foot massage can start from 250 baht to 300 baht. But over here, it's slightly higher. It's Thai, 360. 360? Thai. Thai, 360. Oh, okay, Kap. Now this is a... The massage place right in front of the Castaway Resort. We call it Castaway Spa. Uh, pretty, you know, chill. You get yourself a massage. 
Yeah, probably I'll do that. Okay, guys, if you're on a budget, well, Koh Pei is not short of a hostel like this. The Chick Li Pei top quality boutique hostel for 550 baht, dormitory room. It means a share room. Not bad. You got pizzas, pastas, Thai food. Just saw the hostel right there just now. Uh, it's quite a nice place to be, but I'm not in the mood for a hostel stay this time. Let's hang around at the walking street and find myself a cold beer at Miss A. The shop of Miss A. Hello, hello. Kun A love her cat. <laughs> this is Miss Lidi. Hello, welcome to Li Pei. And then we have the Jaya restaurant and we have the Thai food restaurant. Yes, confirm delicious. Yes, oh. can you see the restaurant? Yes, very nice. And she is pretty. Oh, <laughs> okay, Lidi, we love your food. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma. <laughs> and boys, you come to Koli Pei, you visit Lidi. Don't ever disturb her. Okay, this is the Sunrise Beach. Now, not every part of this beach here is narrow. Yeah, certain part is a bit wider. So you have more space you know, on the sands here. And for you to laze around for sunbathing and jump in to the Blue crystal water. Okay, I'm going to have an early dinner this evening and definitely I'm not coming to show you Madame Yuhu. You already done that. Yuhu! <laughs> yuhu, yuhu! We done that already. I'll show you what I'm going to have for my meal. I mean, I am extremely hungry this evening. Alright, before I reach 
the dinner place for tonight. I just stopped over at my favorite banana fruity store. And today we have some fresh bananas here. Uh, the sunset will set in the next 30 minutes. So before the crowd start going for dinner, so I better head over there now and enjoy some very delicious food. before so I do not be shy to try the Indian food here in this island. Right, I've just ordered the chicken tikka it cost me 250 baht for one plate. I've ordered the aloo pala which also this uh, fried potato with spinach that cost me 180 baht. The jira rice uh, so one plate of it cost me 80 baht and one garlic naan 50 baht everything is cooked fresh in this restaurant here there are many marijuana joints here in Kolipe actually there are a few of it here right here at the walking street. Uh, Thai government have approved the marijuana for consumption. Right, so if you are in Koh Pei, yeah, you will see the marijuana leaf sign that is to tell you that yeah, there is a marijuana joint that you can get some of the stuff. Okay, so let me just uh, pinpoint a few of them for you in this short video here on the, the walking street. Sometimes you're better off dead There's a gun in your hand that's pointing at your head You think you're mad, too unsteady Kicking in chairs and knocking down tables at a restaurant In a West End town Call the police, there's a bad man around Running down, underground Okay, and the paper is this. Uh, so you from one gram can six to seven. Okay, one gram can put two joints. Two joints, uh, one gram. So one gram is about nine hundred baht. Okay, pang ma, brought time my cup. <laughs> okay, now my another day. All right, thank you so much. Okay. Uh, one thing you can do in Koh Pei is to take a taxi boat like this to go over to Koh Adang. Koh Adang is another big island over the other side, just uh, not far away. And the taxi, the boat taxi right here will cost 100 baht for one way. So two ways, to and fro, will be 200 baht per person. Okay, let's go and visit Koh Adang. Okay, cup. Okay, this is our skipper. I've just checked with the uh, hotel reception here. Uh, it seems like this resort is full house for the next one week. So I won't be able to check in here or to stay here. Uh, what I would suggest is in the future, if you do want to come to this private island resort in Koh Adang, well, you can actually book 
the resort to the popular booking app like booking.com or, or Agoda so that'd be easier so if you're like me you just come to Kolipe and stay around Kolipe Island and you decided you know that you want, may want to stay about one or two nights over at this part of uh, Koh Adang you may do so because it's just uh, you know less than a 10 minutes boat ride from just across Kolipe to come over to Koh Adang just like what I just like what I did uh, just now okay so what I'm gonna do is I uh, brought along you know my towel yeah just lays around at the beach here uh, in my personal opinion I wouldn't want to stay more than one night here <laughs> when I come here the next time <laughs> because there's no walking street so just one day maximum two nights that's all I will stay if I were to return to Ko Adang in the future. Look at my lady! Oh. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, tonight we are not going here for dinner. We are going straight down the walking street. What do you mean? Nunu! Hi! How are you? My friends say you are very beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Come. <laughs> Guys, if you do come to this pizza, don't try to disturb her, yeah? Okay? Be good boys. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah. thank you so much. Okay, I'm at the phone shop here. Just uh, got the SIM card. Yeah, this nice lady here. Uh, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hi. Hello. So, all right, huh? Boom, ka. Boom. Okay, Miss Boom. This time I'm heading over to Mali Resort at Pattaya Beach. Beautiful room, you know, facing, uh, sorry, facing not far from the beach. It's just like uh, 30 meters away, 30 40 meters away from the beach. Yeah, air conditioned, and double bed, TV. It's a uh, Clothes hanger, luggage rack. Alright. The one thing about the hotel is uh, you can check in early. Okay, you can check in early. Okay, very basic bathroom. Most of the hotels and resorts that you can check in early because a lot of guests, hotel guests, they will leave the island at 8 30 in the morning to check out. So the housekeeping has enough time to clean the room. And most of the time you get a room that's ready before even 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And I was telling you the beach is just right there. And the cost of this room per night, I got a little bit of discount, is 5,500 baht per night. White sands of Kolipe in Pattaya Beach. So it's so beautiful and amazingly gorgeous. Look at that. Hi everybody, good morning. This is Amin. Amin is a tour operator for one of the snorkeling trips that I'm taking with him. So for today, we have about six places of snorkeling to cover and the price is 700 baht which I paid.
thing I found out about the beach resorts here, I mean those really nice beach local resorts here, they will want you to eat the breakfast and so your room rate is already inclusive of the standard breakfast. Some resorts may give you a standard choice of set A, B, C or D every morning so it's like a routine you know you gotta only have uh, only like four selections of the breakfast and I get bored if I stay too long in the, in a, in the same resort to offer this kind of uh, a breakfast so that's why I love to move around and stay at different resorts and different locations to avoid this uh, breakfast boredom yeah, the reason why I chose this beach to stay again. Okay, if you remember, the first resort that I stayed was the uh, Bella Vista. Okay, and after that I stayed at the uh, other part of the island. Now I'm back here again. I'm staying at Mali Resort, which is just right next to the Bella Vista. Now the one of the special special reason why I love this place, this beach, is because right there, there's my Swedish friends. Okay, the couple there. Yeah, I just told them that there's a family of Nemo's right at the corals. It's just about 15 to 20 meters away from the beach here. If you really want to find out where this uh, family of Nemo's is, okay, there's a Bella Vista resort. There's a signboard there. There's a one coconut tree and the second co coconut tree right in front here. Koh Lipay may not be the cheapest island in Thailand to come for a holiday. Especially when during the high season, it can be pretty expensive. If you ask my frank opinion, if I were to return to Koh Lipay again in the future for another holiday, yes, certainly I will. If you are new to my YouTube channel, Please don't forget to subscribe and give a like to this video and this will encourage me to do more videos like this in the most atmospheric way. The 5th Galaxy Orchestra is very happy to introduce its new band member Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Stevie Wonder.